Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do when a friend has betrayed you. You know, our friendships are very important to us. And if somebody has betrayed you or upset you in some way, it can leave you feeling really confused about, well, what, whether I should stay in this friendship, should I, should I stay in the friendship or should I just walk away from the friendship? Or maybe you're asking yourself, should I speak up? Should I say something or am I making a fuss or should I say nothing? Or well, the first thing I want to say about that is yes, speak up. You know, if you're going to have courage to be you, you're going to be the real you, the authentic you. And good friendships, any good relationship is based on good communication. So yes, always do speak up in a way that isn't confronting or accusing the person, but just letting them know what's going on for you and how you feel. The thing to do, first of all, is decide, is this a big betrayal, a, such a big betrayal that you just couldn't stay in the friendship? Or is it a smaller betrayal, maybe a more of a kind of a feeling of being disappointed or let down or hurt? A big betrayal is something like, you know, if somebody has lied to you consistently about big important things, or maybe they have stolen from you, taken from you, or, you know, borrowed money from you and never paid it back, or maybe they flirted with your partner or tried to steal your partner or your other friends away from you. Maybe they play mind games or something. Those are big betrayals. And if those sorts of things have you know, been going on in your relationship with somebody, then maybe you need to be thinking about that friendship. You're worth more than that. If it's a smaller betrayal, like a, a letdown of some sort, that could be something like maybe somebody's been told you a white lie, or they seem to be gossiping behind your back, or maybe they kind of forgot you one time, got your your birthday or didn't invite you somewhere or or perhaps they you know they said something that was disrespectful and those sort of smaller things that's about your values what what matters to you and if those things really matter to you and they you know you can't work them out with that person then maybe that's time to think about the friendship often though those are things that you can you can recognize, oh, those are my values. I'm hurt by that. I'm upset by that. I can have clear communication with this friend about that. And actually, we can grow as a friends and grow individually and actually, you know, end up having a much better, closer friendship because we've been through these challenges. Maybe our feathers got a bit ruffled, but we we worked through it. So the most important thing, there's there's a few important things, but the first important thing, let me say, is when you actually communicate with this person, do they acknowledge that? Do they acknowledge your feelings and your thoughts and your ideas and, you know, how you've taken this situation? Are they able to see that it's upset you? They may be thinking, well, I don't understand. I don't don't see it from your point of view. Why are you so upset about this thing? But are they able to acknowledge to you that even though they see it differently, they acknowledge that you feel this way? That's really important because that gives you a starting point to make changes. Sometimes when we communicate with somebody and we express that we're upset about something and they don't see it in the same way, they they don't react very well initially. They might say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. And they might step back and feel a bit, they might even feel a little bit attacked. But within a period of time, maybe a couple of days, perhaps a week, they will come around, they'll process that, they'll think about it and they'll come around and they'll say, well, okay, let's talk about this. I don't see it in the same way, but I care enough about you to acknowledge that you feel this way. So let's, let's try and work this out. So give them a little bit of time but do make sure that they do acknowledge you. If they're shutting down your feelings or they're saying, no, no, uh, you know, it's perfectly all right for me to behave this way and you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel the way you do. Well, that's something for you to think about in that friendship. The next most important thing, if you're trying to work through this friendship, you want to stay in this friendship, is to understand why what happened happened. You see, if one person upsets another and then they say, I'm very sorry, I won't do it again, doesn't really change things that much because the person who's been hurt or let down in some way is always sort of thinking, well, will they do it again? 
or they might question them about things and you know it makes the friendship very awkward because the person's always on the lookout for something to go wrong if you can understand why the thing went wrong then you're on to a good thing because then you can work together to figure out well if it went wrong because of this we can then look at how we can change that thing that why so that it's less likely to happen again so for example if somebody's told you a white lie and you've found out and you've been very upset it could be that they told you a white lie because they're trying to protect you in some way and they didn't understand that for you you'd far rather they just told you things as they are you'd rather have the absolute truth so being able to understand the why they did it and being able to discuss that together you're able to work forward and actually make decisions about how you might both see that and do that differently in future Another example might be if somebody appeared to be gossiping about you behind your back to another friend, some sort of family member, somebody else. You might be very upset by that. When you find out why they did it, it could be that they were concerned about you in some way and they were just talking about it with somebody else to try and figure out how to help you. So you know why and then you're able to say, if you're concerned about me again, come to me and talk to me about it. So it's always a good idea to figure out the why of something. Sometimes that why can show you that actually this person really just does have different values and ain't going to change. And that will give you a clue about what you want to do about the friendship. The next thing I want to ask, tell you or ask you is maybe a bit confronting, but I'm going to say, it. what's your part in this issue that's come up? What's your part? And if you're thinking, well, it wasn't my part, the other person has betrayed me or hurt me. The question to ask yourself is, have I actually seen this again and again and again in this person and never said anything? Have I not made it clear to them what my values are, what my boundaries are? Have I been quietly getting upset, quietly maybe resenting them? And could I maybe in future just take the responsibility to, you know, find that courage to be me and actually speak up and be authentic so that we can have a better relationship? The other part you could be taking in this is, have you had a niggling voice? Something that keeps saying, oh, I'm not happy about this, but I'll ignore it because 80% of the time we have this great friendship we have so much fun and then there's this 20% of the time and oh it's not very good and I don't I don't get treated very well but I'll just ignore that if if you've been doing that maybe it's time to listen to that voice because you're a wise being within you there's an inner voice within you that's wise and it tells you it's got your best interests at heart so maybe it's time to play your part in this friendship and listen to that voice and make a decision from there whether you want to see if you can work it through with the person or walk away from the friendship overall the question is are you being real and is your worth being valued is your worth being valued in this friendship if you have a lot of fun with this person that's great but they are a social acquaintance somebody to hang out with maybe not somebody to have a deep friendship with if you don't feel that you can go deep with this person. And actually, if they're not valuing your worth at all, you don't even want to be hanging out with them on any level because you want to surround yourself with people who value your worth. So if you've got to a point where you're thinking, actually, I don't want to continue on with this friendship at all, I have another video. It's called How to Move On from a Broken Friendship. There's a lot of wisdom, guidance, and tips in that video. So I'll link to that for you. So if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please do hit the thumbs up like button. That way more people will get to see it and you'll be helping me to help them. And please do remember to hit the notification and the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I've got other videos coming out. It's been great to be with you today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.